This is British Columbia, Canada. Here's Scott McLaurin to tell you about the Spearhead Traverse. It was a great pace. We uh, took our time and, you know, the weather was fantastic. We were able to, to camp along the way and enjoy the views, ski lots of great lines. These guys are wired differently than most. They have snow sports in their blood. They just can't give up winter before one last snow adventure. Scott McLaurin, Hugo Harrison and friends. And when you fall up here, you don't stop until gravity and mother nature let you. Whistler in the springtime is a time to experience the real heart and soul of this part of the world. Hey, wake up in there. Time to ski. They say that hiking for every turn makes each turn more rewarding. That's if you're completely crazy. Where's the helicopter when you need it? Snowmobile? Chairlift? trip nearing its end, Scott has one last descent in mind. He points out a steep and dangerous line to his friends. It's risky, but Scott is known for skiing the most extreme descents. He's ready, and he goes for it. Scott skis along the ridge toward a huge snowy cliff. Then things go bad. Aware of the dangers that lie below, Scott is powerless to stop his fall. I think he's wishing he had a do-over. Scott, that was a nasty fall. What was going through your mind? A little, little. Okay. Jennifer, what did you think of the accident? I was on top of the accident, so I didn't really see him go into the crevasse, and I'm kind of thankful that I didn't. <laughs> That's very interesting, Jennifer. Thanks. We're glad you didn't see it, too. Sheesh, I'm not getting much here. Hugo, did you think your friend was seriously hurt? Uh, it was pretty, uh, well, I don't, I cannot say exciting to see uh, Scott tumble out the, in the crevasse, but uh, it was fun to watch. That's for sure. Pretty exciting. <laughs> First it's not exciting, then it is. Get your story straight, man. Let's see if Scott's got his thoughts together. Uh, you know, you try to make them go right. This one didn't quite go as planned. Uh, heading into the first little air, uh, skis just got sort of stuck under the, the, the heavier snow and, and had to widen out on one turn. It kind of messed up my first takeoff and everything went from there. A couple of little linked recoveries and uh, ended up wrong with me falling into a little crevasse right at the end of the line. I knew I knew where I was going and I knew it wasn't really where I wanted to end up. Uh, so I was, I was aware of where I was going. Um, definitely a little bit scared, you, you, you know, you're thinking of the consequences, but uh, you know, as always, it's, it's best just to be aware rather than frightened. Just a little crevasse, no big deal. Well, it sure made for an exciting shot. Hugo, do you have any words of wisdom for your friend Scott? Well... For that kind of ski, I think uh, better think about it before you do it and make sure it's fine. Because <laughs> once you're in it, it's too late. There you have it. Just think before you fall into a crevasse. Yep, advice to live by.